hello 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 babes welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome 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 so in today's video we will be diving into miss Jacqueline the irresistible man eater herself so let's get into it Who's that lady? As most of you know and are familiar with the movie Boomerang, many despise the character Jacqueline. Well, as that was her job as the antagonist of the film. Jacqueline was beautiful, well-educated, a free thinker, and didn't bend to the rules of society when it came to getting what she wanted, when she wanted. She wasn't conventional, nor a woman who bowed at the feet of men. She was young, vibrant, and rich. She had the world and men in the palm of her hands. Unlike the other characters in the film, Jacqueline isn't easily impressed with the smooth talk that Marcus kicks to her. She already knows his kind and how to reverse the game onto him. Uh, what you said was pretty pathetic. It was not pathetic. Oh, come on. If I walked up to you and I said, excuse me, sir, I'm sorry to bother you, but, well, I just had to meet you because you are the most handsome, the most... <laughs> So we're first introduced to Jacqueline, played by the beautiful Robin Givens. She is this enchanting, beautiful woman who catches the eye of Mr. Playboy himself, Marcus, who believes will fall under his spell and be another one added to his harem. But he realizes getting someone like Jacqueline isn't the easy task he thought it would be and he would be in for a heavy taste of his own medicine. Jacqueline is the female equivalent of Marcus and the fact that he is looking at a reflection of himself makes him uneasy and Miss Jacqueline had him deep in his feelings, okay? Worked up over nothing. Nothing. That's what sex is to me, nothing. Yeah? What does it have to care and share and commit? I know it sounds a little fast, but some people still think things like that are important. You made it painfully obvious that you're not one of them people. At first, Marcus sees Jacqueline as a quest he must conquer who doesn't believe in former relationships with any of her co-workers and just wants to get her in bed, he falls in love with her, something he never thought would happen. He starts telling his boys that she could be the one and he sees marriage with her. However, Jacqueline let Marcus know from day one that their fling is not to be taken serious. You're not getting serious on me, are you? You're talking about am I getting serious? What is that? Well, you know, we want this to to grow into a relationship where God, we're together all the time. So. But he believed that he had the juice to change all of that, which is the role reversal of how typically women start planning out the future for a man or with a man who she believes she could change. And although the man was straightforward with her, she still has this belief that she could be different from all of the rest and somehow change his mind. And instead of Jacqueline taking on the role of thinking that she can change a man, Marcus takes on that role, believing that somehow he could change Jacqueline. And honey, Jacqueline had Marcus all in his feelings. Which is why I love this movie so much, aside from the soundtrack, because the Boomerang soundtrack, ugh, chef's kiss. But I love this movie so much because it showed how dynamics change when the shoe is on the other foot. How some men will discard of good women and the women that are actually into them, although sometimes clingy, but genuinely like them for the women who doesn't care much for them. And I'll say this, when you're too available for a man or a woman, it can be a turn off, especially when you're constantly calling, texting, and always asking questions like, so what are we? If someone wants you and wants to be exclusive with you and to you, there will be no guessing about where you stand with that person because they will let you know exactly who you are or what you guys are. If you're an item, that person will let you know that you're an item and they want you to be exclusive. Now I wanna get into how Jacqueline was painted as a villain. She was not a villain. She let Marcus know up front that she didn't want to be serious, she didn't lead him on and make him believe that it was something else and kept it professional. Except for that gossiping with the co-workers and speaking of the activities that took place between both of them, that was unprofessional and definitely an issue that needed to be taken up at HR. Marcus couldn't handle the fact that the woman who he had actually fallen in love with wasn't interested in him in that way. Jacqueline was painted as though she was a villain because she was honest and didn't fall for a playboy who only wanted her in the beginning because he couldn't have her. And Jacqueline had confidence and knew better than to get involved with a man like Marcus. Now let's just say, hypothetically speaking, they got together and she began to fall in love with Marcus. 
at some point I'm sure he would have gotten bored and wanted to go back to his old ways or would have found himself another Jacqueline and left her or cheated on her and just basically it would have been the end of their relationship. She was guarding herself and rightfully so and pulled back when she felt Marcus was getting too attached. Some people can't handle seeing the reflection of themselves or deal with the fact that what they've done to people has made its way back to them like a boomerang, no pun intended. <laughs> Jacqueline was a beautiful woman who knew her worth and didn't see a lasting future with someone like Marcus. She was a woman about her business and the only reason people don't like her is because they want women to be at the mercy of men who are no good. You can't go through life doing people wrong and think karma will make its way back to you because it will. It doesn't matter how much you've changed and become a better person. It doesn't change the fact that you've hurt people who actually cared about you, messed up, and had no regard for their feelings. The very person who you do decide to change for and fall in love with will be the person who will break your heart. And this goes for both men and women. You can't go around playing with the feelings and emotions of people and think that when you find the person that you actually have fallen in love with, that karma is not going to come to you and make you feel that same hurt that person felt when you played with their emotions like a fiddle. Jacqueline was Marcus' karma, but unlike Marcus, she actually told him to his face that it was over and wasn't a coward. She told him what it was up front and she was able to separate business from pleasure. She was seductive, beautiful, and a businesswoman. Oh, and the wardrobe was on point. And that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Boomerang, like I stated in plenty of my videos before, <laughs> is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite movies. And Jacqueline was that girl, okay? Yes, she may have done some things that I don't agree with, but she was a businesswoman. She was about her business. She was beautiful. She was sexy. Let me know below who is your favorite character from Boomerang and what you thought about Jacqueline. As I stated before, I don't believe that she was a villain. She was just giving Marcus a taste of his own medicine. And that is it for this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next video. Toodles! Thank you.